what's up guys today we're talking about how to build a community around your subscription box so for those of you who do not know my name is dallas gordon and i am the owner and founder of the journal junk box we have a journaling subscription box for women and children that help people to get started with journaling no matter where they are in life all walks of life just pick up that pen and get started we help them to get creative and expressive and we give them the journaling tools every single month to do just that so i'm really excited to be sharing with you guys seven powerful community building tips we have an amazing journal junk box family we have an amazing community and we've gone through some real limps to create a community for our subscribers and to really make them feel like they are a part of a really big family because they really are. So be sure to get out your notes. Of course, you can rewind this and save this video and come back as many times as you want. So, okay guys, let's get into it. So the first thing guys that I wanna put out there is that I know that when a lot of my clients hear I need to build a community, it comes off really scary. It comes off like a scary concept, especially if you are not that comfortable as it is on social media. It can be really, really scary to think about having to build this warm and fuzzy space for your subscribers. And being as though you're not that comfortable yourself in the online space and on social media and with different platforms, you may be feeling like, I don't know if I'm a community builder. Is that you? Let me know in the comments if that's you. You're not sure whether or not you have the goods, you have what it takes to actually even build a community. I can totally relate to you because that's how I felt at one time. So one thing that I wanna say to bring some comfort to you before we get started with the rest of the points is that you wanna focus on building an experience that works for not just your customers, but also for you. Your happiness, your peace, your joy in your business is so vital. It is so important. So you don't wanna build a community, guys, that is gonna make you miserable. So to start off on a good note, we're gonna end on a good note too, though, but you don't have to build a community that is way left. So to give you an example, if you're not a person that likes to broadcast live, it's just not your thing, you're really nervous about it, and you really don't feel like going on that learning curve to build that confidence level. Maybe it's just really not your personality to go live, that's not you. You don't want to build a community around you going live if that's not your thing and that's not mandatory. So the suggestions that I'm sharing today are going to be either take it or leave it type suggestions. You can decide as you listen whether or not, yes, check mark these suggestions work for me in my business or no, X, I'm gonna X that one out. Dallas, these ones, these particular suggestions that you gave, they don't really work for me. So this is just to offer you some different suggestions and steps that you can take actionable steps you can take after this video to be able to build a solid community for your subscription box. So number two is to give your community a name. Don't just call them she, don't just call them he, don't just call them then, don't just call them kids, actually give your community members a name. So we have a Facebook group where we call our journal subscribers VIPs for the group. We also call them journal babes. It's just a really cool, fun term that we throw around. It's playful. We have a very youthful, playful, yet mature type of brand. So journal babe just kind of makes you feel a part of this cool club um, where we're all doing something that we all enjoy. So that's like the name that we call our customers but how about you come up with your own name? What name can you come up with and call your customers that would really make them feel like they are a part of the family? So number two, again, is give your community a name. Number three is make sure your box has a mission. So I know some of you may be going through the subscription box training on this channel. There is a dedicated playlist with the subscription box training that I'm working on in this channel, but also this is also on another subscription box playlist. So we have different playlists that are subscription box related. So definitely go check that out. What I wanna say is, is that if you have been in your subscription box business for a while and you're like, oops, I never developed a mission. It is not too late. You don't have to tear down your entire business to develop one, but you need to stand for something. You need to stand for something that your customers can also 
get unified with, they can unify with, they can connect with you on. So our particular box, we have a mission that we want to give you the tools to express yourself with creative writing, to inspire you to pick up your pen, and also to inspire you to put your, prioritize your self-care, okay? So oof, I got a little crazy with the words, but that's what our mission statement is and that's what we want to do. When it comes to children, we wanna give every children, child the opportunity to be able to express themselves through creative writing as well um, and to have activities they can do to encourage them to create a habit of journaling. So when you, decide on your mission you want to infuse that mission in your content you want to infuse that mission in your language that you're using with your community and you want to do that consistently you want to do that consistently and frequently so you want to make sure your box has a mission it needs to be one that works for you and also one that your subscription um, your subscribers can connect with and you want to infuse that mission throughout your community. So number four is give back to your community. It's actually one of my favorite things to do because I'm a big gift giver. One of the reasons why I enjoy the subscription box business so much is because I get to plan every single month what goes inside of the box. That's one thing that I have not outsourced in my business because it allows for me to be artistic and creative and to put these beautiful themes together. It's like comes off like a party in a box. What is it that you can give your customers? Can you do giveaways? Can you run giveaways inside of your community? We are literally always incentivizing our customers. We are always nurturing that relationship. Now I do wanna backtrack guys because I didn't really talk about the importance of building a community around your box. People in general are looking for connection and you have the opportunity to provide connection through your box business. Some people are literally off on an island to themselves. They feel like nobody understands them. They may not feel like they have any real friends or family. So when you create a community around things, you provide a safe space, you provide a platform for people to connect that have common interests. When you nurture that, it builds customer loyalty to your brand as well. So it's super, super important. So how can you give back to the community? Some of the ways that we give back, I mean, we host multiple giveaways throughout the year. We typically do a giveaway quarterly, which is a brand awareness campaign, giveaway campaign. We also give, do giveaways monthly in our Facebook group for our um, customers. If we have any like leftovers or large inventory that we just want to give it away, we do a lot of that throughout the holidays. We would just do like a raffle right inside of our group and give a lot away. So we're always looking for ways that we can give back to our community. So before we go any further, guys, with the rest of the points that I'm going to share with you, if you are listening to this video, and you know that you cannot do this alone. You either want to launch or you want to grow your subscription box and you know that you wanna take the next step to get help with this process. I have a couple of things that I can help you with. The first thing is guys, the doors are closed right now, but I recently launched a coaching community called the Subscription Launchpad. Um, it's where I take a group of people into a coaching experience for me for a fraction with me for a fraction of the cost and I'm giving you personalized coaching and consulting on how to take the next steps with your subscription box so that you can grow a sustainable and profitable subscription box um, so if you're interested in that please definitely click the link below to join the waiting list and I like to have a personal conversation with people who join that waiting list and that community is at about I believe $63 a month and there are different types of payment options and savings and stuff like that. So if that sounds good to you and you wanna be in for the next launch of that, please be sure to get on that waiting list. Now, the second thing I have is for those people who are like, no, I need your help right now. I have the money to pay a coach. I need to get started. We can get on a discovery call 
ASAP and talk about working one-on-one -on -one together. And the link is below for you to schedule that discovery call to do that. Okay, so now that we got that out the way, let's move forward to step five. So this is optional. All of these actually are optional. Like I said at the beginning of this video, you wanna build a community that works for not only just your customers, but you as well. But you can create a community group or chat or something like that, we use a Facebook group. If a Facebook group doesn't work for you and you prefer to build community on another platform because there are quite a few pl platforms out there, one thing you just wanna keep in mind if you are interested in building a group like community, you just wanna make sure that you build it on a platform that you're also comfortable with, but most of your subscribers are aware of this platform and they're already active on this platform. And that's why we chose Facebook because of our personal demographic. You can do that, build a community just for your select exclusive members. You can educate them inside of the community, do giveaway, do live sales. There are all kinds of things that you can do inside of your community to nurture your customers. Um, also, you can go live to build community. Some people have a go live schedule where every week they're live and they're building that they're building that audience, but they're also doing it to nurture their community. That's something else that you could think about doing. Number six is to educate your community, okay? You can give them exclusive access to something that no one else gets. It could be templates, it could be downloads, something that when they log into their members area, they're able to get access to it, okay? And I would suggest basing whatever it is that you give them around how to use your product, that it brings them into contact with your product, that whatever it is that they're getting access to helps them to use your product more because the more that they use your product, the more longevity they will have as a customer, the longer that they will stay, the longer they will stay subscribed, okay? Because your product will become a part of their everyday life. So number seven is keeping the communication open with your customers. One, like think about it. If you're in a relationship with someone who literally never gives you notice of anything, it's definitely one of my pet peeves. Like if you're gonna be late, fine, just let me know. If you're not gonna show up, fine, just give me notice. Like, please respect my time. That's one of my biggest pet peeves ever is when somebody does not respect my time when it just could take in 2024 a simple text or phone call and you didn't do either, you just didn't show up. Think about how that makes you feel when the, your closest friends in your life don't communicate with you. So do your best not to throw curveballs when it comes to your community members or your subscribers that they're not expecting. And now they're upset and they're, they're going wild with customer service and all that. When all of that chaos could have been avoided if you had just communicated just like you would do with a family member or a friend. You can put out a lot of fires when you are proactive with communication. So I hope that all of these helped you. But before you go, if this content helped you and you want me to continue, you wanna give me a pat on the back to continue putting content out here and you wanna let YouTube know that this is the good stuff, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment below just to let me know, hey, keep going. I'm loving the content and I also have some free gifts for you down in the description box as well. So you can definitely sign up for a few of the freebies down there. So don't forget to check those out as well, guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.